Hello, it's Tammy Pally, aka The Crafty Princess, and today's bead vlog is about jewelry I've been making recently. Most of it from supplies I've been receiving in my monthly uh, bead box bargain subscription that I get every month, and uh, I've been having a really good time with it. This is a necklace that is one of my more recent, um, larger projects. And yeah, pretty much, the, well this, this is a charm, and actually it's a locket, it opens up, let me open it up for you. It's so easy. <laughs> it does open up. What's the deal? Am I on? Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Don't try to open it on the side with the latch. The little hinge, I mean. Try to open it on this other side, girl. Yeah, it opens right up. All right, I don't have anything in there, um, but there it closes right up. It's very lightweight, and um, I believe this is made out of lead-free pewter. Most of their silver uh, findings are going to be, or silver colored findings, in the bead box bargains are uh, lead free pewter. And then, um, let's see, here are these beads, I think pretty much all of these beads except for the smaller blue ones were from a bead box that I got. And let's see, oh, and even um, they've been, you know, some of them have uh, findings like a lobster claw clasp and I just made a little, this is a um, extra piece of chain. So it's a very long necklace, but I wanted it to be extra long. Um, I don't know, lately I've just been getting into making really long necklaces for some reason. And what's nice about this, even though this will fit like right over my head pretty easily, even if I don't take off the clasp. Um, what's nice about having a few extra inches of chain is that you, on the end of a necklace like this, is you can make it even longer. And obviously if you have a really short necklace, uh, you can do that too. So you can put it in one of the chain links. Um, I usually will do like a little loopy thing, you know, my triple loops that I do all the time. The bottom, and if you want to make, if you want, you can make these triple loops big enough to actually fit on your clasp as well. So, um, but yeah, this is, it's very, you know, very much my taste of the sort of a, um, antique -y romantic feeling. Uh, and it's a nice, even though it's kind of in the blue tones, it's neutral enough to, that kind of goes with everything. And so along with the necklace I made these matching earrings. Um, get them here. Again, these are, and I think, yes, the, the bead caps that are on these earrings are also on the necklace, and that also came in one of the bargain boxes. Um, I think the other bead caps I supplied myself. And I do purchase the bargain bead boxes. I'm just saying they, those have got out of my stash. So yeah, really nice uh, neutral set. And then I've also been making um, lots of earrings still to give away in my random acts of uh, jewelry that I've been doing where I randomly give away jewelry to people, um, you know, like people that are waiting on me at Publix or um, let's see, where else? Oh, I, I, the other day when I went through the drive through at the bank, I popped one in there. She was like, can I help you? I said, oh, just sending you a little something for yourself. Have a nice day. She's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so, um, what I normally do when I'm making these earrings like this, okay, I guess I should take them off the cart because they're probably going to, it glares. Um, I'll sit down and try to crank out, you know, at least a half a dozen pair. And I keep them pretty simple so that I can do them quickly. And it's not a huge amount of supplies that I'm, you know, giving up. And uh, I would say a lot of these I'm getting from the bargain bead boxes because you get just a, you know you get quite a few supplies for the amount and uh, but then I'll supplement them with you know stuff that I have like my ear hooks or things like that um, or like here's some little birds that I had just little bird charms I had from something so I made those um, here's some like little hammered medallion thingies I had which I added um, crystals to so, you know, I just, it's the, the idea is that I'm making jewelry because I enjoy it. And so I will make whatever I feel like making. Um, I do try to not make sure, I mean, cause I'll, I'll go kind of like, I'll make a whole bunch of purple earrings and a whole bunch of green. Now I'm making pink. <laughs> okay. So I do kind of think about, all right, well, I don't want to give away only green earrings <laughs> to people. Cause after a while they start to recognize me. Right. 
especially because I don't go to that many places all the time. I mean, definitely the Publix, the gals of Publix recognize me now and kind of like are waiting for their earrings, which I, I love that. In fact, um, it's not unusual for me to see them wearing my earrings um, there, especially the green ones because, of course, their uniforms are green. But I like to have a little variety. I don't want them thinking, oh, here's another pair of green earrings from that lady. So today's pink and silver. <laughs> okay. So, um, and that's been going really well still. I still have enjoyed sending them out. Some, the only thing I will say is sometimes I get mad at myself because an opportunity will come up where I realize, oh, I could have given that girl a pair of earrings. Dang it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you know, so, because it's fun. You, you give it. They really appreciate it. I've never had anybody say no. Um, in fact, one day I gave a pair of earrings to a woman who was kind of, um, I will say every time I go through her line, she's a little bit, seems a bit of a curmudgeon, <laughs> which I get. I can be curmudgeon-y uh, myself sometimes, so I, I, I understand Anyway, that, you know. So I almost didn't give her a pair. In fact, I'd been through her line a few times and, didn't, and hadn't given her a pair because she's, like I said, usually not Miss Mary Sunshine, okay? And then one day I thought, you know what, screw it. I'm going to give her a pair to see what happens. She got all gushy on me, <laughs> and I could just tell, like, she was just, she just doesn't really like her job, poor girl. And I have been there. I have had jobs. I mean, I had a job once as a bank teller that I would, on my way to, to work, I would cry every morning. That's how bad I hated that job. I hated that job so bad, I would cry all the way there. <laughs> so I've been there, you know, I, I get that. And, um, and so I was really glad that I, I just, you know, stepped away from that, hey, she's not being nice to me, I'm not going to give her a pair of earrings, ridiculousness, and um, made her happy for a few minutes before the next idiotic customer came through her line, <laughs> okay? So, so I'm just putting that out there. If you're, if you're thinking about doing this, don't get put off because somebody's maybe not being a super nice person to you. And, you know, again, make the earrings that you want to make, you know, if you want to give away earrings or whatever. I give away earrings because they're, they're not very expensive. I can make a bunch. And that's another little tip. I try to make about half a dozen, always have about half a dozen with me. I like to try to make almost a dozen per week. So then I just have kind of the stash. And otherwise, you know, something might come up where somebody's like, hey, you want to go out to lunch? And I wasn't planning on it. I was like, oh, I don't have any earrings. <laughs> I can't do that. So, uh, but it's nice, like, sometimes in the evening I'll just go sit down and, you know, for an hour and uh, make a whole bunch of earrings and make myself happy with the idea that maybe I'm going to make somebody else happy. So, those are, yeah, that's the beading I've been doing lately. Um, I've also been organizing my bead stuff, which I will probably talk in another uh, video, craft-related type video, maybe not just about beads. But I hope you guys have a wonderful beady day, jewelry day, crafty day. And thanks again for watching. Please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up. I always like those. And yeah, have a nice day. Bye.